How about today we talk about time? We talk about the location of time. We talk about your projects, the kind of life you want to have in future. What you want to be in future? What you want to have in future? You see, time is the only commodity with which and through which anything and everything can be done. You know, it's not about how much time you have. It's about how much value you put in the time you have. You know. It's about the ideas that you are generating with the time you have. It's about who you are becoming with the time you have. You know, working for someone the way we usually do. Your employer that a man how much value you put in the time that you are given. The reason why he pays you per hour, per week, per month, because he determines how much value you put in the hour you are given when you are at work. Now, talking about your personal time, putting your job aside, right? so, so what do you do with the time that you have? You see, if I was your employer, knowing what you can do for me, I know that you are ambitious, I know that you are smart, I know that you can do a lot of things. And me being your employer, knowing your potential, and the reason why I'm your employer or have a company, because myself, I'm also ambitious. You know, I can say I'm also smart. I did what I could for me to have my own company in order to employ you. So now I see that you are also ambitious. I see that you are also smart. I see that you can also do a lot of things. You know, just a matter of time, a matter of a spark, just one spark, and then you're going to be able to do your own things. So what would I do in order for me to keep you in my company? What would I do in order for you to be working for me as long as I need you in my company? So what I will do is, I will pay you just enough to keep you around. I'm not going to pay you more. I'm not going to pay you less, you know. Because if I pay you less, then according to the competition in the market, you might see better outside there. Then if I pay you more, maybe you might have an idea of opening your own company. If your own company requires a certain capital, a certain amount of money. So you might think better and then put some man aside in order to open your own company. So what would I do for me to keep you? So what I will do is, I will make sure that I give you as much job as I can for you to only be able to think about work, 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 and then not thinking about your future, not thinking about yourself, not thinking about tomorrow. Because if I give you a pile of job that you need to finish around the clock, you're going to be so busy so tired that you're gonna only be thinking about doing the job that i give you i'm gonna give you overtime i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna take all the time that you have in order for me to get all that i want from you so this is what i'll do if i was to be a boss knowing all that you can do knowing that you're smart knowing that you can do a lot of things knowing that you have a lot of potential so what I will do is I will make sure that I keep you busy. So you know when you are busy, sometimes you become so tired that when you get home, you know, your mind wanders because you are tired. You don't want to think about anything else. You want to rest. And when you are resting, you know, since your mind is so tired, you only think about sleeping. I'm going to eat and then go sleep. I'm going to do that and then do this. You know, the small amount of time that you are given, you're not going to do much of it. Because, first of all, I kill your mind by making you tired. Secondly, I make sure that I take as much time as I can from your day, from your week, from your month. I said earlier, it's not about how much time you have. It's the value that you put in time. And remember, one will serve and the other one will master. Me being your boss, our master and then yourself. 
So how do, how do you determine your way of living? How do you determine what kind of life you're gonna have? What kind of car you're gonna drive? What, which suburb you're gonna live in? Cause thus, especially if you only depend from the salary that I'm giving you monthly or weekly, then everything that you do need to fit in the salary that I'm giving you. You know, people always been saying this, and it's the truth. We don't have money problem. I think we have ideas problem. And when you're talking about ideas, you're talking about imagination. So everybody has the power of imagination, but not everybody uses it. That is where the problem comes from. You know, imagination comes from your brain, and your brain is just like any muscle that you have. The more you use it, the more lighter it becomes. The less you use it, the more heavier it becomes. So it becomes heavier. So when you want to use it, it's slow. It does not give you the result that you want. It goes too slow. It's not used to. But the more you use it, the lighter it becomes. The lighter it becomes, the more ideas you get. Let me tell you something. All these brilliant people that you see, all these wealthy people that you see, most of them, they are at the level where they are because of the imagination because of what they did with their minds with their time you see so we don't have money problem we have imagination problems we have ideas problem one idea can change your life only one one imagination can change your life only one i think it's not napoleon bonaparte i think it should be napoleon bonaparte the french guy he said uh, Nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. So if not Napoleon Bonaparte, just forgive me for that, but get the idea. Nothing will stop the idea whose time has come, even an army. So if the right time has come for that idea, nothing will stop it. It will change things around because this is their suitable time for that idea that was generated maybe one week ago, one month ago, one year ago. And then now we are seeing the fruit of it. So as I was saying, coming back to our scenario. So as your boss, as your employer, I'm going to make sure that I get all your time. Give you less enough to get you around. I'll make sure that I take all your time to make you tired so that you're not going to think about anything else than the job that you're doing for me. Remember that the more time you have, the more you can think, the more you can imagine, the more you can rest. Because you need time to think. You need time to rest. You need time to imagine. You need time to think about your future. You need time to generate your ideas and thus demand also your body to feel at ease. Sometimes when you're too tired, you can't think properly. Even when you're hungry, you can't think properly. So knowing all these things, I as your boss, I will make sure that I keep you in the grips of my hands. Since I need you, I will want you to be there for me. So I make sure that you are busy. I'm going to get your time. I'm going to make you comfortable, just comfortable enough to make you be around as much as I need you. So you see, that's what I said. It's not about the time we have. It's about the effort that we put in the time we have. It's about the value that we put in the time we have. So, so you need to put more value in the time that you are given. What kind of life do you want to live or have tomorrow? And then you need to think about it now. The life that you are having today is what you thought about yesterday. If you didn't think of it, remember, for every action, there is a, a correspondent reaction. So if you didn't think of it, I can just tell you that what you're having today is what you made up yesterday for. That's what you're having today. Then if you want to have something tomorrow, then today is the day to start waking up for what you want to have tomorrow. Today is the day. 
That's why I said, well, how about we talk about what you want to be like tomorrow? What kind of life you want to have tomorrow? So it start now. Start today. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you will enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. So please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Bye.